What a privilege and a blessing the Lord has given each one of us to be still alive. I do not take it for granted. In fact, I thank God for your life. May his name be praised. Isn't it wonderful for you to be still alive? Yes. Eating and drinking is still my salary as we look upon this pertinent factor of life. There is something I have realized that you cannot undo. And what is that? Kindly subscribe and give a like and share to others as we learn together. And as we consider this factor, kindly let's pray. Our gracious Father, thank you for your love and mercy. Breathe your spirit upon us and bless us with your love. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Even in sickness, in health, eating and drinking is indispensable. Eating and drinking, even when you are sick, is very, very important. I have seen in some cases where the sick are deprived of food, and it pains my heart. Or where someone is sick, Instead of helping them to eat right, instead, they eat the other way around that actually makes them more sick and some have actually died. Could it be that some have died because of overeating or of, over e of eating improperly? Here is my point. In sickness, in health, eating and drinking is indispensable. You cannot live without it. But how? If someone is sick, they need special care. Why? Because their system generally is weak. Romans 14 verse 7, No man lives unto him himself, and no man dieth unto himself. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 14, the body has many parts. You have the arm, you have the head, you have the stomach, you have the liver, and each one of them, they sympathize to one another. Take note of that. So when the head is sick, the stomach will sympathize. When the stomach is sick, the hand will feel sorry for it. So in sickness, we need to pay keen attention to what we feed our patients or to our beloved ones that are sick. I remember when we were young and you'd be sick, that's when you'd be given all sorts of things and you're eating at all times and drinking at all times and vomiting at all times, so sad. In sickness, food should be given sparingly. Why? For food requires digestion, and digestion requires energy, ATP. For the food to be broken down by the movements of the stomach digestive walls. Now that energy is also required by the healing factors in our body. And at the time when someone is sick, the energy needs to be diverted into the immune system. So when you burden your stomach and my stomach with food, guess what will happen? There is going to be a decline in energy levels. Take note of that. And so when someone is sick, you want to give food sparingly and more so simple food if you can access it. Take for example, what would I give a sick person? Let's say I'm living in this country or any other country because these foods are common. I would want to give soft food, either like plantain or rice, or I would want to give Irish or something that is tender related. I would not want to give complex carbohydrates because they're going to require more complex energy or more energy 
for the breakdown and for the digestion. Then you do not want to feed the patient all the time because digestion has a specific time when it should happen and the stomach needs rest as we're going to discuss all those details in our following episodes. And so be considerate when you are dealing with someone who is sick. Give them, I'm not saying give them stingy food, but rather give food sparingly so that part of the energy that God has given us can be diverted to the healing of your body. Then you'd want to consider more drinking so that you hydrate the body more because in sickness we lose so much water in sweating and fevers. And so you'd want to hydrate someone's body uh, frequently, especially with clean water. Take note of that. And so, be very conscious not of burden the stomach of a sick person because much of the food will not digest. And depending on which sickness, if someone has so much uh, of ulcers, so much of fever, food will be burning out due to high fever in the stomach. And that's why people vomit because it cannot be contained if digestion is not really moving right. And so I want to challenge you that in case of sickness, you want to relieve the stomach of much food. However, give that which can sustain and provide the same nutrients or some phytochemicals or some chemicals in plants that are natural that are required for the healing of the body. May God richly bless and empower you with wisdom on how to mitigate and even how to apply eating and drinking when one is sick. More of the details in the next episode. Thank you for watching. May God bless you. And if it is your desire that God may give you wisdom, that in case of sickness, you may know how best you can handle a patient on how to properly eat and how to properly drink, let's pray together. Our gracious, dear, loving Father, thank you for the blessings and the opportunity you are giving to us that we can learn how better to take care of our health. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. May God bless you as we learn together.